uh, Alex Alexander here of Springbok SQL. So the topic of our discussion is that we're going to compare two leading PCI flash manufacturers. Uh, on one side we have Viridant, on the other side we have Fusion IO. Both of those vendors, what they do, they manufacture PCI flash cards. For those who don't know, PCI flash card is basically the fastest device uh, to connect your database because that eliminates the controller, eliminates additional layers. So if you're looking for the fastest IO possible, it can be achieved with uh, PCI flash devices. So it's uh, also commonly known in SSDs as a solid state drives, but you can't really call them that because they get connected by a PCI and so forth. Now, how did we come about to evaluate all of those devices is that um, the company, our company is Springbox SQL, we built uh, database appliances. So the database appliances is basically a um, server optimized specifically for database performance. And um, in building the database appliances, you have to constantly evaluate the fastest possible devices on the market and the way to tune those as fast as possible devices. Um, our appliances today power up, um, they power up ultimatepoker.com, that's an online poker gambling site, and we also power up uh, Opera Media Works, uh, we power up the uh, marketing components, um, their marketing applications when they, we gather vast amount of data. So this is how, how it came about in search for the fastest possible PCI flash devices. So we evaluated all of them, and at the top layer, we ended up on one side with Viridant, on the second side, we ended up with Fusion IO, and we built the test scenario completely clean, you know, so we can actually compare exactly apples to apples in this case, and come up to results and kind of communicate the results to you, and hopefully that you enjoy it. You know, so if you're selecting to build a very fast database server and you're uh, interested to find out which one is actually better and so forth, we, we actually done the legwork for you. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time, you know, promoting the company and so forth and we'll just jump right into that discussion. And uh, for the purpose of this conversation, I'm not getting compensated for this research neither by Fusion IO or by Viridant. Those guys are our vendors. You know, so it's uh, the purpose was to do completely independent research unaffected by the vendor statements. Um, I have two configurations here. So just to as a reminder to this video, so um, the configuration number one, this is a screen on top, and this is a Fusion I/O specific box, and the screen on the bottom right here, this is a Viridant. Um, uh, specific box. So both of those boxes have installed uh, PCI uh, flash devices. So PCI flash devices on both of those boxes. And then this is Viridant um, Gen 2 uh, PCI flash card. And on top you see here, this is a uh, Fusion IO uh, specific uh, flash card. And you can actually see it on device configuration here. So this uh, Dev FIOA this is a Fusion I.O. PCI card, and on this box here, you can see Dev VGCA. So this is a Viridant uh, PCI uh, PCI uh, flash device. So the goal was of this experiment is to see which card is faster, Viridant or Fusion I.O. So those devices are pretty much uh, neck to neck. The Viridant card I have, that's the latest generation, I have the latest generation uh, Fusion I.O. card. And um, the boxes they are that I have configured, they're identical, they identical and exactly the same. So each box has uh, 24 cores of CPU and uh, the same database release. And, all of, and the um, database varlib MySQL directory is mounted, um, is actually on uh, PCI flash devices. So the experiment was to see which card is actually faster on reads and writes. Is it Fusion IO or, or, um, or is it the Fusion IO or Viridant? The interesting thing about Fusion IO is the file system on Fusion IO is NM. MFS um, file system and the file system on uh, uh, Viridant uh, specific box is actually XFS. Uh, so it's NV MFS file system uh, developed by Fusion IO also. So in case of box one, we have a vendor um, Fusion IO with its own file system and VMFS. 
and then here we actually have the XFS file system. So to conduct this experiment, what I did, I basically those two databases. Just a second, just to show it to you. So they are slaves of the master database that I have. And uh, to conduct, conduct this experiment, um, I set those, I stopped the slave databases from the master database approximately exactly the same time. And I created about eight hours, eight hours replication lag. Basically, I stopped the replication slaves for eight hours long. Um, and that's what I'm going to do basically. It start the slaves on two boxes and then we'll be able to determine which device, Viridant or Fusion IO, can actually um, process data faster to catch up with a master database. In this specific configuration, the master database is very busy. So it does provide a lot of relay logging and so forth. So it's be really challenging to catch up. In those type of configurations, you can couldn't even catch up if you had a spinning disk, you see. So those cards are, both of those cards are very fast. So we'll see which card, you know, will catch up first. There's no activity in none of those boxes. It just plainly, it just plain uh, MySQL replication. So let's do that. So power up one. We'll get connected to this one. And we'll do slave. Start. Start. So push this one and push this one. So there you go. So for all practical purposes, uh, we fired up the replication on both of those boxes. So there was a quite a substantial time time lag created, and we can actually see. If you're wondering what type of utilities I'm using, I'm using Inatop. So this is the Inatop utility. I mean, you could actually, you could actually probably use a show slave status, provide you pretty much the same information. You know, this is just an approximate uh, numbers. You know, at this phase, like you could see, the cards are pretty much neck and neck. You know, you have 50, maybe some, um, some half a minute difference and so forth. But this is not necessarily attributed to how fast you can write the data to the data files. It could be also, right now, the servers are actually downloading the relay log data. So, and this is basically the configuration. This could take quite a few hours to run. And uh, based on these results, you know, like and I said, we stage very fair competition. Based on those results, we'll be able to determine uh, which card is faster when it comes to write data in replication format. So don't forget, this is a single-threaded format. Um, uh, it's single-threaded write to the file, uh, to the database files. But like I said, the database has to be able to process uh, the replication data and catch up with a heavily busy master database and then um, produce, then we'll see in this so-called competition, actually not so called actual competition, which uh, PCI flashcard is actually faster when it comes to writes. So this is a um, few minutes after the start of the replication screen. So as you can tell, the Fusion IO box, um, this box above here, is um, at this phase, after a few minutes, of the, I'd say about 15-20 um, minutes into the start, is slowly pulling away from uh, Viridan box. If you noticed, um, the time lag is 6 hours 18 minutes. On a Fusion IO box, it's 6 hours 29 minutes at the Viridan box. And you can see also relay sizes are different. So it could be two things. At this phase, it could be that the box, the Fusion IO box is downloading the relay logs faster. And um, uh, that's uh, all the difference to this. Uh, my prediction is that Fusion IO uh, with NVMFS file system would be actually faster than uh, Viridant in the writes. So, because right now we're only measuring the database writes. So, my field of Fusion IO with NVMFS file system will be faster than Viridant. I it will outrun it in writes. I don't think that uh, the speed advantage on writes is going to be extremely substantial, but we'll see the outcome. So we'll see the outcome, how it pans out to be. But you can see that, um, and this is once again, it's approximate numbers. Once again, 
um, it pulled away by about 11 minutes into the start. So this difference could be, you know, we'll see as uh, this will progress. Uh, just a reminder that both of those cards, uh, PCI cards, are running in maximum performance mode. So they don't run. There's two modes you can operate the cards in: is maximum cap maximum capacity and the maximum performance. So both of those cards are configured for maximum performance. Uh, you're going to lose some space when you're using maximum performance mode, but um, the cars will be configured in for the fastest writes. So uh, checking in on our replication process, as you can see on the time lag here, uh, this is a Fusion I.O. card and this is Viridan card. So, so far the Fusion I.O. card with, with NVMFS file system versus Viridant and XFS file system managed to pull away from the Viridant by about half an hour. By about 30 minutes, it's ahead in, by 30 minutes ahead of the Viridant card. And um, so it's kind of indicative. It uh, shows us that uh, Fusion I.O. is faster as far as processing database writes. And with this, we'll take a look at the CPU utilization. Let's see uh, the CPU utilization in uh, while the replication is in flight. So we'll exit the screen, we'll power up the top utility. So power up the top utility here also. So the top one is uh, Fusion I.O. and the bottom is uh, Viridant. So as you can see, let me close that. As you can see, Fusion I.O. box has slightly lower load than the Viridan box. And um, from the processes here, you can see that uh, Viridan box has additional uh, processes like VGC timer, VGC, so all the VGC underscore and VGCs are the uh, Viridan specific processes and F FCT worker and so forth are the um, uh, Fusion I.O. specific processes. So as you can see here, Fusion I.O. is li running at slightly lower load than the Viridan, but not significant enough to draw any conclusions about it. So, um, but it is, and I noticed previously, it is slightly a lower load um, uh, during the replication. And uh, here's our replication setup, basically our replication uh, several hours later. So it's about uh, we're about three hours into that replication. You can clearly see that uh, Fusion I/O card is completely up to date. So it has virtually no time lag, and uh, it clearly demonstrates that uh, Fusion I/O uh, SSD or PCI SSD card is superior to Viridant in writes in writing transactions. So if you look at this on the bottom here, this is a Viridant box. And it's still approximately, it says two hours behind. It's not going to get two hours to probably catch up a lot faster than two hours. But um, uh, Fusion I.O. card above here is completely caught up. So just to remind, I started those slaves exactly same time. And I created those two slaves um, with seven hours time lag. So with seven hours time lag with heavy transaction processing, <clears throat> uh, Fusion I.O., PCI SSD card outpaced Viridan PCI SSD card by almost two and a half hours, probably more than two, two and a half hours in a seven hour time lag. So in seven hour time lag, um, Fusion IO was faster by 2.5 hours, which is quite substantial actually. It's a quite substantial result. A bit surprising that it's that much faster, and um, but it is. It is. It's a, it, the, the cards are very similar. Once again, the PCI and um, there's a Fusion IO, the similar capacity. Boxes are identical. The all things being identical, uh, Fusion IO and NVMFS file system is clearly faster than Viridant and XFS file system. And once again, this test is only for database writes. So after all these experiments, and this is basically the conclusion of those experiments, uh, Fusion IO PCI SSD card is substantially faster than the Viridan. That makes Fusion IO PCI SSD today the fastest device for your MySQL MariaDB databases. Not only it's substantially, it's about 35 to 40% faster in writes, and it's an approximate 
35%, 35% to 40% faster in reads also. So it is very consistent. It's actually consistent across the writes. It is consistent across the reads. Their speed and um, a lot of attributed to uh, Fusion are going out and developing brand new uh, file system specifically for um, uh, optimization of the database. So this NVMFS file system in conjunction with uh, Fusion IO PCI Flush delivered actually very good results. I'm impressed myself and I'm actually in a being technologist, I'm extremely skeptical and rarely ever get impressed and I never take vendor statements for the face value because you know, you cannot trust the vendor statements. And so by doing this experiment, you know, I have to admit that uh, Fusion IO today is the fastest, uh, is the fastest PCI flash device. Will landscape might change? It's very possible. But I have to compliment Fusion IO and their team for doing a very good job. Not only developing a device on my side, but also developing a specific file system, keeping very close relationship with MariaDB and optimizing their product specifically for MariaDB. And um, so that's very admirable, I have to admit. So this in conclusion, the winner, the clear winner is Fusion IO. And I think if you're building a box today, um, you build like a server and I want to, you, build, you want to build the fastest server possible. Uh, Fusion IO is a way to go. Cost-wise, I know you might some people wonder like what what are the costs. The costs are comparable. The costs are comparable. You know the cards are not cheap, but like I said before, uh, they're not cheap if you count gigabyte per gigabyte costs. But if you compare all the costs that takes into optimizing the spinning desks, uh, changing the parameters over and over, hire a consulting company to retune your parameters you know, and um, sharding your databases and things like this. So when you count all of those costs, you start realizing the PCI flash is actually cheap. You know, maybe cost per gigabyte is not, uh, it's a little bit, it's higher. But when you count the entire costs that go into deploy the database, um, Fusion IO comes up not that expensive after all. And on the positive side, your customers will actually have a good experience. Instead of sitting there and waiting uh, in infinity for data to show up on the screen, you actually have a fast response time. So in conclusion, thank you for watching. I know it's kind of taken some time and things like this, but I wanted to stage the objective test and uh, building the database appliance that kind of comes naturally that you have to search for uh, fast as possible hardware. Thank you.